Holy That is gonna be all she wrote. I focus and focus and focus. And then it's all gone. Oh no! We got contact. That is huge. That's right. This is Formula Drift, what we call the throwdown, the battle in Seattle. Round six of the Formula Drift Pro Championship. It's sold out. This is the largest Formula Drift Seattle event we've ever had. Five previous rounds, five different winners. We had that scenario last year outside of two rounds being won by Frederick Osbo, and here he is leading the championship again. Whatever happens today can have a big effect on how things are gonna go in the next two rounds. These are our season winners. Matt Field wins in Long Beach, Ronkett Jr. Atlanta, Orlando Chelsea Denofa, Adam LZ at E-Town, and most recently, Odie Bakshi. Who's gonna fill out the rest of them? Are we gonna get a different winner? Simon Olsen, a real threat. Ronkett Jr., he's back, he's shaking things up. He's won here before. Can he do it again? Ryan Turk, you know, he's, he's had a couple number one qualifications. Chelsea Denofa got the win in Orlando earlier this year. You know, the championship, it, it's really still up for grabs. And you can see that only 43 points separate first and fifth. Uh, every round has 103 points totally available from qualifying to winning the event. Every point counts, every turn, every battle counts. Anybody could really win it. It's going to come down to Irwindale. I'm just going to put it out there. There's no way it's going to be decided here in Seattle or Utah, but it's going to come down to Irwindale. Seattle, are you with me? One, two, three! Seattle was where I got my first podium in FD and with the team in 2011. Wow, running the wall! Woo! We've had some serious highlights of that track. Matt Field right there, and he is knocking on the door! I love the vibe. People are shouting and cheering, and that track is epic. You're on the gas for so long around that bank, and you drop into the infield and brake super hard, as hard as you can into turn two, and then it's back on the throttle. And I think one of the best feelings you can have behind the wheel of a drift car. I've had some great years at Seattle, and I've had some not so great years at Seattle. Had some crashes at Seattle, run-ins with other drivers at Seattle. The track's super fun. For a bank track, it's probably my favorite on the FD calendar. It's like a very fine dance between front grip and rear grip. So it's a super tech track, and I've always liked it. It's been one of my more fun ones to go to. A small point differentiation from first to second. Again, it's been a bit of an arm wrestling match between Frederick Oswald and Matt Field as he assumed the points lead after St. Louis. I'm very much a methodical driver that likes to have a certain rhythm. So I try and not get too stressed out. Like, I, I know we, we have tough opponents today. I know everyone's doing well out there. So right now, I'm sort of telling myself, you know, take it easy, go out there and have some fun. Frederick Osmo, 87.3. You know what, that was a lot of fun. We got one of the higher X Factor scores, so that feels pretty good. So we qualify P5 here, we're in the show for tomorrow. Ryan Turek is actually what got me into Formula Drift in the first place, and his car is not your typical race car, and then um, his driving style is super awesome too. Here we go, Ryan Turk, this hot hatchback. My mindset is in a qualifying this year has been a lot more relaxed. It's always been a follow-up from like a really good build on a practice session. That feeling has stayed with me this year. Oh, oh he backs it in, that back bumper. But takes a lick and it keeps on ticking. He backs it in, that's just gonna be a little body damage. Let's see if he can maintain the middle tires, go around to that last outside zone. Powers his way through. Oh, man. Ryan Turk with an 80.33, so didn't really, uh, didn't really like the bumper tap. Qualifying. Didn't go as planned. 
and uh, right on the end of outer one, the wall kind of hooks a little bit, and when I grabbed the handbrake, I put the rear into it, and it kind of shunted me down off my line. I didn't think it looked that bad, but the judges did not agree. I think it were like 12th or 13th, which is a huge bummer, but how it goes when you're trying to push and make some shit happen, sometimes you just get bit a little bit, so let's carry on. It's tandem time now. What's that, fortune cookie? Fortune cookie of data. <laughs> and this data is showing right now that we are, I am basically even as far as um, course times uh, with Vaughn. So that is a huge plus. I just have to drive to the literally the best that my skill set can give this car. And if we can do that and uh, not make any mistakes, then we're going to win. And that is the plan. Next up, a massive battle. Ryan Turk, Vaughn Kitten Jr., two legends and veterans of the sport. Both Drift Alliance homies. So I have uh, a long history with Vaughn. I actually met Vaughn before Formula D was even a series or anything. He was one of the first with guys like Tony Angelo, Chris Forsberg, Matt Petty, kind of started the first sanctioned events of drifting on the East Coast, I think back in 2003. We're all on a team called Drift Alliance, and Vaughn and Chris and Tony were all the ones who kind of helped me get my start. They helped me get my first sponsorships in the sport and really got me going into be able to compete in Formula Drift full time. Welcome out to Road in Atlanta. Vaughn's a two-time champion, phenomenal driver, and continues to show that even in a, a, a semi-retired state where he came out and won Atlanta. Vaughn Kitten Jr. gets the win and makes some noise. He's a phenomenal competitor, great behind the wheel of his car, and definitely very aggressive on the track. Vaughn Kitten Jr., he's shaking things up. I mean, this is only his second round of the year. With Vaughn running split season, he's running only half. And He's won back to back here previous years. So he has a huge target on his back and he's going for it. So he is playing major disruptor to the championship. He says, oh, cool. Uh, I'm just going to stick my uh, Vaughn Gittin Jr. in the mashed potatoes. You know what I mean? So there you go. There you have it. And here we go. We qualify into a hell of a bracket for a top 32. Uh, so Vaughn Gittin Jr. up first. Strategy against Vaughn, we treat it as like a finals battle, you know? and we felt confident going into it. Make some noise for Turk and get Ryan Turk initiates Vaughn Kitt Jr. close to proximity. Went out and put on a really good lead lap, like a qualifying 100 point style run. Look at Vaughn, right on line, it just kind of slides the car in nice and tight. Turk, he's got an opportunity here. He's got to stick to Vaughn's door. That's going to be tricky since that car is so fast. Here we go, who's moving on? Who's going against Osborne 16, Vaughn Kick Jr. or Ryan Turk? Chasing, just tried to apply as much pressure as I could. Had a couple really good spots where we had some really good proximity. Into that power alley, massive angle there, Vaughn Kick Jr. Look at how tight they are. On the last transition, Vaughn had over-rotated the car, and that big mistake there pretty much gave us the win. Oh, oh, to be Vaughn was, uh, I'm not gonna say a relief, but it was just like, yeah, okay, we got it. That kind of proved to us that our car set up, we're on the right track, and that we were going to be hard to beat that day. Vaughn just overcooked it and burnt the nittos. So I just asked Ryan, that was a crazy one, and he said, yeah, the build up to it. We were able to put two good laps together, and, and Vaughn made a little mistake in the last turn. That pretty, that pretty much sealed the deal, but um, it was a good battle overall. So we really needed those points and pumped to move on. We are one step closer. We narrowed down to 32. Now 16. Who's moving on? Who's going to win round six of the Formula Drift Pro Championship? The game face is on, suited and booted. We got three, the only three time champions. They are in the top 16. Chris Forsberg, James Dean, Frederick Osbo. And he's leading the championship. Can he lead after this round of competition? Can Ryan Turk get it done? Those two teammates have to battle each other here in the 16. The excitement is just palpable. That's right, this is the throwdown. Who's advancing on? We're about to find out. Ready to rock, that guy's ready to shred. Ew! Unleash the Kraken. Big battle here. There are the Toyota boys, the Rockstar Cats, Frederick Oswell, Ryan Turk, both want to get a championship. Fired up. Fire up! I got butterflies in my stomach. We know that 
Anytime we go against each other, it's all out, and we've had a few battles like that. Both Ryan and I want to be the best driver in the team. Yeah, there's friendly rivalry between uh, Freddie and I, but he's currently leading, as we all know. You know, that's what we're up against, because he's sitting first, he's, he's the guy that need, we need to catch up to and, and take some points away from. I could tell that they were hungry, both Ryan and Biddy's and the whole team, they were hungry to take us out. They were seen taking a look, little nuts from Ryan Turk and his team. Uh, we knew we had a great car, I was driving really well. I know that they were, um, they were kind of lacking on grip, and I just had to not make any mistakes. Ryan's on rails here. I know I'm, I'm going to have to bring my A game. At this championship, Frederick Osbo leads the pack. Ryan Turk sits just outside that top five in eighth place. Matt Fields out. Keep that in mind. Frederick Osbo, Ryan Turk, lick the stamp and send him. Here we go. Who's going to get the win? Whoa, whoa, look at that. Quick, snappy initiation by Frederick Osbo. Ryan Turk, failure to launch. I had a little mistake on my chase right in the first turn, but he's able to clean it up and really apply a lot of pressure the rest of the way through. Look at him just gaining ground. Osbo's lead really wavery. Copy that. Whoa, look at that, throwing more angle at it. It's Frederick Osbo. Ryan Turk adjusts. My lead lap was OK, uh, but he was chasing me very close. Osbo starts shallow, then moves deeper, and Turk makes the adjustment. This is where both spotters in the Papadakis Racing Team are going to be able to say, hey, look, pretty clearly, create a point of difference for yourself in this second run. Freddy, great lead run. What are your best? Uh, good job cleaning that up. If you have a little more drive and space, that would help. Uh, okay. Details on that? Details. All right, we have a faster car. Copy that. Ryan Turk will now lead. There is so much on the line here as far as, you know, Matt Field going out who sits in second. If Freddie goes out here, that, that would be major repercussions. He leads the championship. Matt Field hoping for that, to be quite honest. Still give him a shot. Full power on. Let's go. Here we go, baby. Like, I was definitely feeling it. Things were good. Now coming into the big bank. Uh, struggling with the pace there to keep up with him. He really took off. I got surprised by his pace being faster than I anticipated. Very, very close to what Osbo did. I think the line is more stable from Turk out front. He was a lot more committed coming down from the bank and more aggression. He had a much better line. Osbo coming through. He's on the inside of outside zone three, but Turk fills it. Frederick Osbo almost diving in on the inside. That really could have hurt him. Back and forth by yep. both drivers. You're doing the calculus, the algorithm. This and that minus this plus that. Yep. Carry the one. Is everything looking good? Feeling good up there? Yeah, we got it. Ryan Turk gets the win unanimously. We got the win, motherfucker. Let's go! Boom goes the dynamite. Light the wick, just like that. So one and two in points is knocked out. That shakes things up quite a bit as far as that top five. Matt Field got, got a little bit of luck there, too. There it is, fist bump. Freddie's still got a smile Great on his face, but chin. you know that deep down, he's bummed, he's pissed. Ryan's a tough one. We were a little bit conservative with cars set up, and ultimately it wasn't enough to, to hang with the uh, best one here today. Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> with every battle that you win against the former champion uh, or the champion, it definitely boosts your confidence. We knew that uh, we had a good shot at the win. We're still on the back foot. We still need to just win battles. We need to get to, we need to, get to the podium. Oh, like I'm disappointed in, in myself because we, it's like we started off on the wrong foot. I, I never pushed for a faster setup and I sort of settled with what we had because it, it made the car easier to drive. And I think I, I would have loved to explore more and went out of our comfort zone a little bit more. And, and uh, that's definitely going to be in the notes for next year. Bummer. Ryan Turk's the man out there. He's the man right now. He's got literally running half the cylinders of everybody else out here. We're running still up at that thousand horsepower and we're doing it with four cylinders. Big bang, Ryan Turk gets the win.
advances on. He's going against Anopa. Wow, you hyped for that one or what? Moving to the semifinals, our first semifinals of the year. We knew we were going to have Chelsea Denofa, who was on point, and the guy to beat that entire weekend the way he was driving that Mustang. The last couple of years, whenever we ran Chelsea, we had an issue. Like in Orlando, we ran Chelsea, and we were feeling awesome, and we had a tire DB. Chelsea Denofa pulling away. You know what I mean? Like, that's it. Oh, no, that's not the way you want to go out. Last year, we ran Chelsea in Seattle. We broke a freaking axle. Oh, and Ryan Turk spins. But uh, you know every time it's going to be like this death match. You know what I mean? Chelsea's usually always on point. You just know it's going to be a hard-fought battle, and whoever wins is the best man that won, you know? Our final four is set. Chelsea Denofa versus Ryan Turk. We enter the Type S Final Four. That was such like a whirlwind of shit. I don't even like know what happened on that first lap. Genofa, he'll lead to that Ford Mustang. Ryan Turk, give it chase. Genofa initiates. It was so freaking hard to see because it was that time of day where the sun was glaring and then it was just super dark in shadows. Genova slaps the bumper on the wall. I remember popping out of the smoke after Outer Zone 2. Couldn't see And then all of a sudden I just smashed Chelsea's car. Oh, oh. Sure comes in hot. Contact was made. And I had no idea if it was my fault or his fault or what the case was. Genova continues on. Genova takes a licking and keeps on ticking. Ryan Turk coming in hot. What happened? Yeah. Contact. I can't see a thing out there. So bad. You gotta slow that rotation to four a little bit. You're flicking it too hard. It's up to the mercy of the judges. Where does Genova transition? Where's the back bumper? The transition doesn't Ooh. happen until midway point through outside zone three. That is not what the judges want to see. The transition is supposed to come before the box. And just like that, we are finding out Chelsea Denofa is at fault. Okay, so our car is still 100%, and we're going to go out there and run 100% practice lap. Here we go, yeah. second half of the battle. Ryan Turk out front, oh, wow. Chelsea Denofa in the chase position. Look, no harm, no foul. Ryan Turk's feeling confident about it, now into that power alley. Transitioning, see, you can see right there, early on, right there in the box. Denofa now into the pocket, into the position. Oh, oh no! Ryan Turk parks it! Turk parks it! I freaking spun in the last turn, had the thing wrapped up and spun in the last turn, like, come on. And that's, that's an incomplete in the leads. That's automatic one more time. It was basically an incomplete, incomplete on each lap. Turk transitions way too fast, way too aggressively, and says, hey, how you doing? Let's go one more time. It's gonna be a one more time. Let's look for a quick turnaround. We went back, they fixed the front end, realigned it. Strategy was try to turn the car up even more. <laughs> we literally, could not put anything else into the car. We're on the absolute razor's edge of, of what that thing is capable of. Make some noise, Seattle! Let's send it to Nova and Turk. Chelsea's a great driver. Just kind of lets it all hang out. Good angle from Denofa. You're not going to get any bullshit from him. It's just uh, go out there and let it all hang out on track. Great angle, look at that, set and forget it. A little hot skip and a jump. Going to the power alley. Denofa dips, throws Ryan Turk off a little bit. Oh. Uh. Went out there for one more time and <laughs> did another freaking dumb mistake. Chelsea made some sloppy mistakes. Here we go, pack it up or pack it in. Let me begin. Into that second outside zone, and third outside zone. If I didn't make a mistake, we'd easily just taken it again, you know? So it ended up going uh, one more time, once more. All right, Ryan. Third time's a charm. Let's go, boys. Who's going to the finals? On the entry, I was a little bit off sync, and then I was playing catch up. 
Ryan Turk overcooked it. Goes off course. Major deficit. I just caught front understeer and it just sent the car straight off track. In that area, there's just no way of recovering. He makes a major mistake. Genova finishes on through. That was pretty much it. Four wheels off, incomplete. That is an incomplete for Ryan Turk. That is a huge shock to his system. It was the best we did all year, but I couldn't even, I like, I was so upset with myself for making those mistakes. It was just so dumb. Chelsea Denofe is going to the finals. Denofe, massive points jump. It's all right. We push through the weekend and P4 will work for now. Everybody, I'll meet you guys back at the pit. I just, I blew it. I should have beat him the first time. Yeah. Ah, oh, so frustrated with myself. Oh. You think it's big on see one more time? So it's that close? Or? I think we're lucky we had the second one more time. Thank you. Yeah, I felt like if we beat Chelsea, we would have had the win locked up for sure. We you know, fell just short of the podium, and it was, you know, it comes down to qualifying. That little running with the wall uh, on Friday cost us, uh, cost us some champagne, which is a huge bummer. That is all she wrote. An amazing event. Chelsea Denofa gets the win! I feel like it's relatively sloppy driving out there and these guys uh, could be yeah. doing better. I was so disappointed in myself. I came around and I didn't know why. As a spotter, I know it, it would be good to see on the track. And then when you don't see that happening on the track, you're just like, I don't, who am I talking to? Like, is it, you know, is there someone on the other end? Yeah, I know you want a podium. And, yeah, 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 of course, yeah. of course. Yeah. yeah. This how are we doing this for so many years and then still having uh, some of these challenges? You know, we're six events in, we've got no wins, and we look like monkeys in football. <laughs>